what the issue is? So the heart has four chambers. This is the left atrium. The, le the mitral valve makes sure blood flow goes from the left atrium to the left ventricle uniformly. Mm -hmm. So he has, um, in his case, his mitral valve is thicker than it should be. So he has a leak back into his left atrium. So his left atrium and his left ventricle are seeing more blood flow than they should. And as a result, his left atrium is becoming enlarged and his left ventricle how is much, dilated. How much larger is it than the normal? It's severely enlarged. The left yep. ventricle is like moderate, mild to moderately in dilated. Like double this size or something? The left atrium is double what it should be. Okay. So in response to this, we start a medication called Vetmedin that delays the onset of heart failure. Where he is now, he can go into heart failure tomorrow or he can go into heart failure in years. We can't really predict when it will happen. But he's at high risk for heart failure, meaning fluid back up into the lungs. So he is at the stage where a lot of times we don't recommend surgery until they go into heart failure, but Dr. Uachi does do some dogs in this stage. It wouldn't be unreasonable to send him to surgery. Doc, is that the Japanese? The Japanese surgeon, yeah. yeah. It wouldn't be unreasonable to send him to surgery. It might be a little premature, like it might be worth starting him on the vet med and rechecking to see if his heart is progressing, mm -hmm. but it's, it's a good idea to start considering it, what, especially because he's a cavalier and they often progress Rap, but, more, but the more surgery, from what I understand, really has 90% success rate, yeah. and they live full lives. It kind of fixes they it. They don't. It? it doesn't necessarily. No. So we'll have to talk that in more depth. So what they do for the surgery is they cinch down this annulus, and they repair any cords that might be broken. But we first have to send them the images and see if he's a candidate. So his reported success rate at B2 is like a 95% success rate. So B2 meaning they haven't gone into heart failure. That's the stage of heart disease he's at. Right. However, most of the time when I send a dog for surgery, their heart isn't 100% fixed and they go back into heart failure. They get weaned off medication and they go back into heart failure a year later. What does heart failure look like? When it Difficulty doesn't... breathing, so fluid in the lungs. Oh yeah? So, so it he doesn't, doesn't have that yet, right? No. So it's not a guaranteed fix. However, the last two dogs I did turned out really well. I sent one to Dr. Yuachi himself and his heart reverse remodeled, went down to normal. He's been off cardiac meds, that was in November. He's been off cardiac meds since. And then I just sent one in April to Royal Veterinary College and like the murmur is gone. They did a very good job. Wow. Before that, I've only sent dogs to France when Dr. Yuachi came and helped them. But they're very bad end stage heart failures, but this one I did in April was like that and they all go back into heart failure within a year of the surgery. So it's not necessarily a guaranteed fix and there's high risk. So I think personally, if you were my dog, I would wait and see at this stage because it's a balance of when they're clinical and when they're not. So, But if we want to be 100% aggressive, he would probably be a candidate for surgery now. Okay, and uh, right, so before the surgery, you recommend he starts taking this medication? A medication called Vetmedin. I'm sorry? A medication called Vetmedin or Pimobendin. Mm -hmm. that, and that does what? It, del it decreases the left atrial pressure, it makes the heart beat better, and it, we actually have a good clinical trial that shows it delays the onset of heart failure by an average of 15 months in dogs. I see. Cavaliers so, can be a little more unpredictable, so since he's a cavalier, I might push you to do surgery a little bit sooner, but then it's also a balance of finances. Um, people have told me if you actually go to Japan, it's thirteen thousand dollars, but we still have to do the workup beforehand and go to Japan. And it's a six-month quarantine period before you can even go to Japan. I see. And Royal Veterinary College, the doctor who just went said it was twenty thousand euros, so it is expensive. He is coming to Florida, but there's too long of a waiting list. They're already doing a hundred dogs, so he won't get in to Florida. I don't know their price. So if I would go to Japan, I would have to wait six months? Six months. Like, we have to make sure he's, like, rabies vaccinated and wait six months before going. So it might be a good idea to look into it and get on a waiting list and see if he's a candidate because in six months he could go into heart failure, and then you'll definitely want it. Um, so I can email him if you're interested and see if we can get that process started. Is it possible, uh, from what you've seen, if, let's say, we just leave it as it is, have you seen dogs live like till 10 years or yeah. 12 years he might do quite well we just don't know oh he, my he, he might be the kind of dog that could just live out almost yeah. an entire life but he is condition. a cavalier which makes me a little bit more nervous to say that right. i would expect he's in heart failure within a year a year i see and but the, I can't with the medication with the medication happen. with postpone like it should it. postpone it, but the average is 15 months. Once so in a little bit, an individual dog is hard to predict. So I start the medication, and some dogs go into heart failure a month later. 
Some still going to heart failure the next day. Some going to heart failure years later. So, it's still impossible to predict. So what happens if, let's say, right now he went into heart failure? What would I observe? He would have like be like gasping for breath and really sucking in air and panting like this when at rest when he should be relaxed. This is just him stressed. He should be relaxed right now because of his. Right now he's stressed, but like if he were oh. at home and relaxed and panting like this, that would be abnormal. He is. He does pant like this at home. When he should. When he's rested. Yeah, I have a video. I mean, if you want me to make sure he's not.